Hello, wonderful people. How are you doing? So today is car free day. Just finished the run and the workout. Right now, just walking back slowly. So in this video, I just want to talk to you about car free day. Africa. Hey, hello, wonderful peoples. How are you doing? Welcome back to Theo is back. So in this video, I want to talk to you about car free day and why it is such an amazing move by the Rwandan government for the Rwandan people. First of all, what is car free day? Car free day is an event that happens every first and third Sunday of the month. Certain parts of Kigali city are blocked for motorized vehicles and residents can enjoy and participate in physical activities from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. in the morning. It was first introduced in 2016 with the objective to promote a healthy lifestyle through physical exercises, but also to tackle environmental issues such as air pollution, car noise, and promote non-motorized transport. Car free days are attended by all walks of life, from military personnel to young kids and grandparents. People usually walk, run or cycle from Amahora Stadium to the huge parking lot at the Rwanda Revenue Authority where they can engage in huge massive group aerobic exercises like this. You can also do your own exercises if you want to. We did some crossfit workouts right here to challenge ourselves a bit more. Due to high demand, Chigali City has recently added three more workout sites where people can engage in these huge massive aerobic exercises, namely Gasabo at UL Gisozi Sport Ground, Yichuchiro at IPRC Stadium and Nyarugenje at Maison de Jeune Grounds. But there is more. At these sites, people can also get free medical checkups of their eyes, blood pressure, and get free consultations on preventing and fighting non communicable diseases like cancer. But what, what do you do with the BMI? You we just uh, <laughs> no knowledge. Uh -huh. It's nothing to, to tell the patient. Okay. To keep it. Okay, just to keep it. If it's above obese, overweight, uh -huh. to give some some counseling advice. Okay. Should change behavior. All right. Here are three reasons why introducing car free date in Rwanda was such a genius move by the Rwandan government. First. Public health. From a public health perspective, Car Free Day has a direct and indirect health benefit for the participant and the environment. Participants gain a better individual health, but on a national level, this means less money is spent on medical health care. You see, just a simple health increase of 3% on a national level is enough to save millions of dollars in healthcare costs. And car free days also significantly reduce traffic related air pollution, noises and temperature in the city center. If you have ever been in Chigali on a normal day, you know there is a lot of noise and air pollution from mainly these old cars that are still driving around in Chigali. And indirectly, car free days create massive awareness around your own health behaviors. When you're doing some light aerobic exercises and the grandma next to you is smiling while you are dying inside, this usually starts to ring a bell inside. Also, people tend to do less unhealthy behaviors like staying up late and drinking alcohol when they know they have to work out the next day. Secondly, financial. Let's talk money. One of the biggest objectives that people had about car free day came from business owners who were afraid they, were gonna, they was gonna lose money because of car free day. However, this has not been quite the case. I found that car free days actually bring interesting new business opportunities. For example, people are now investing more money into health and sports related things like sports clothes, bikes, healthy food bars and gym subscriptions. Uh -huh. Stop! 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 
for health professionals like me, this is a golden opportunity which I intend to take full advantage of once my gym is fully set up. And on the other side, the costs of organizing a car-free day are extremely low for the Chigali city, especially if you compare it to the benefits that it, br that it brings. For a country like Rwanda with limited financial resources, this is a very, very smart business move. Third, social inclusion. This is the thing that has touched me the most ever since I started participating in Car Free Day. Car Free Day brings social inclusion, where all Rwandans and everyone else who's participating in it can enjoy the Chigali city as one. Normally, most of these new developments in Rwanda are profited by the wealthier people first. For example, these paved roads were developed with the car user or owner in mind. But during Car Free Day, everyone gets to enjoy the beautiful Chigali paved roads and palm trees as one. And it also provides opportunities from people from different social ranks to interact with each other in open public spaces. You might see your boss, your favorite celebrity, or even the president running next to you, also struggling to get up these Kigali hills. We are all humans, and during sports, we are reminded of that, which helps to bring us randoms closer to each other. I hope to see you on one of these days. And if you see me, please greet me with this international fit sign. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'd like to see you in the next video. Amuche.